We got a bicycle hoarder here. So you guys, Thursday night, heading home from work. Uh, kind of an exciting night for us, I guess, or a big adventurous night. You know, we don't go into town too often and that's what we're doing tonight. We gotta go down and pick up a couple groceries and get some chicken feed and stuff like that. And figure out do a little vlogging or whatever they call it, you know. That'd be kind of fun to, to give it a little try myself. So I'll take you guys along. Well, we made it home. Now I gotta get the crew rounded up and head into town. People don't think I'm, I just have keys in there, probably. Yeah, they'll probably assume you just got keys in there. Yeah, I would think they would think you got keys in that purse. So I recently saw a video by Doug and Stacy off grid. Uh, they showed how they mixed up their chicken feed. I'll put a link in the description below. But it made us kind of reevaluate a little bit of that. Uh, organic chicken feed's pretty expensive. Granted, we're not quite going an organic route here, but uh, it allows us to mix this up. I think our chickens will like this feed a lot better. So we gotta pick up green, and right now we're picking up a bunch of heavy duty trash cans. <laughs> Bicycle hoarder here. It's about 9.15, 9.20 ish or something, starting to haul stuff in, which is uh, a big part of the reason we don't go into town too often. So we had, we wanted to go down and get up some, some feed, to get chicken stuff kind of squared away here and uh, do a little experiment. So now I'll, I'll, I'll get this mixed up tonight and uh, probably call it. So for the feed, we were shooting for somewhere around a 16% protein. Uh, we did a little bit of a different mix than Doug and Stacy, but they did a great job in their video showing how you can accomplish that. So uh, I definitely, like I said, I'll, I'll put a description in the description below. I'll, I'll put a link to their video. They did, did a really uh, a great job. And the nice part is, is these are all items that can easily be grown in your garden. So if our chickens end up liking this quite a bit, this is probably something that we will grow a lot of in our garden this coming summer. So. Anyways, I really uh, wanted to thank you guys for taking along today. Probably not the most exciting thing. A little exciting for us. We don't go into town too often, but that's kind of the way we like it living out here. Just a, a slower pace of life and uh, just keep our eyes on, on the target, you know, family, friends, and all that stuff. So I think we'll just wind the night down here with a little Minnesota brew here and a, a little Andy Griffin show. If you guys enjoyed the little vlog thing, I'd like to see more of this in the future, uh, let me know in the comments below. So. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.